Good morning. I hope everyone has a great day today and I'm back with the rest of the um, cards that I made from my AliExpress haul from two days ago. Anything that I show today that wasn't mentioned then I will link below. If you need to access my other videos you can just click on the name Craft Eccentricity below this video and it will take you to the video library. Right, first card. I used the flower set and um, obviously cut the flowers and I used gold stickles inside and um, quite an old uh, sentiment die from AliExpress. I put some stickles in the top of the corner there in gold and the stitched frame die um, what I did was I used the apertures from cutting out the flowers and used it as a stencil and then I cut that frame out so that's my first one using that flower die then I used my new train set which is this one and I cut lots of little clouds and um, the stars in the train set I used on the gingerbread card yesterday and in the uh, wave border die you get very fine lines of um, stitching that cut out and I use those as the train tracks. The paper pad that I used is from Tuesday morning and it's um, a Bow Bunny pack and I think it was $1.99. They probably still have them in stock at Tuesday morning. So that's the train card that I made. And then the next card that I made, and I will also explain some of the elements here, um, is a shaker card. And uh, this is using the heart die, which I put inside the shaker, cut from uh, silver glitter adhesive, which is from Tuesday morning. And this background paper is also uh, from Tuesday morning. Obviously, the sequins are also from AliExpress. But um, what I used for the acetate window, I'm going to show you now, is a roll of um, acetate. So I keep it in a Ziploc bag so that it doesn't get all dusty. Um, and this is a 10 centimeter wide roll, which is the perfect size for uh, doing shaker cards. It would fit most. And uh, I don't know if you can see that. It's it's quite a nice thickness and it's not overly static and of course it's uh, incredibly cheap and um, I'll give a link for this below. I think there are 50 meters on this roll so I can get quite a lot of shaker cards from this and I think this was two or three dollars. Seal that back up. And um, I also used my sequins that I got last week um, and they're really pretty and I'll give a link to those below. But I've been trying to explain about the easel die that I use and it's this one. And it cuts this out so that this bit would pop forward and um, obviously you fold it on the score lines. Let's move that out of the way. So that would be folded on its score line. Not very often I don't get that right. And you apply double-sided adhesive here and then this bit pops forward Obviously that would be fitted to the card and it would be a lot easier to do. That bit then pops forward and your card stands up. In fact what I'll do is um, I'll show you how this works. I've got some double sided adhesive here. This stuff is uh, also from AliExpress and it's really good. So the adhesive goes just on the inside sections here top and bottom spin that around put some there 
And of course you don't want to put it on the little flap because that still has to be movable. And if I grab my little train card here, I'm going to pop it onto the back of there. I think having one in craft card stock would be quite nice. I'll put a link for this double-sided adhesive because uh, it's incredibly cheap and also from AliExpress and it works really well for making cards and doing things like this. So I've got that there and I would flip my card over, place that centre and at the bottom, press down, you can see that. And then the recipient would just pop those bits up and pop that bit up and it would look like that and you have a standing card which you can't see because of the angle of the camera but it fits nicely um, into an envelope and it looks nice and tidy and like I say it will go onto a large card or a small card which is why I love it so much and um, I'll give you the details of the die and this is it it's uh, Sizzix Thinlit 661919 and it's by Laurie Whitlock and you also get a frame in here and a sentiment and a, a really nice heart but um, it, it's, a, it's a great die and I did specifically buy it for the easel because I kind of collect easels because I don't like to use lots of cards when I'm, I'm making my cards. So I hope that was useful and I hope you have a great day today. Bye.